Hi, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert with a Kajabi quick tip for you. Today's tutorial, we are going to look at blocks and sections and how you can avoid the frustration of thinking that you are editing and making changes in one part of the page and it is just not working. Say you didn't want this color behind the word, you wanted it behind the whole thing and you can't figure out how to get to show up and you are sure that you have changed it. Well, there are a couple of settings within blocks and sections that look almost identical and it's really easy to miss it. So I'm going to go through what blocks and sections are in case you are new to Kajabi so you can have a lot more fun when you are designing your Kajabi pages and hopefully get them to look just how you want. So firstly, blocks and sections 101. So all Kajabi pages are made up of uh, sections like this one that we've got here and then within the section you have block. So for your sections, Kajabi really helpfully uh, makes a whole lot of different options for your sections. So you can go through here and pull any of them up and it's a two click ad. So you can be like, oh, do I want that one? Nope. I might try this one. So you can sort of get a sense of what things um, might look like so that you can add it to your page. And even if you don't want it to look exactly like that, you're like, well, I do want text. I do want a form. You can then adjust it once you add that section. Um, but that is how you will add the content to the page. If you want to just build it from scratch and put your own blocks in there instead of, um, you know, one of these pre-made ones, you can just go and create a custom section and that will be blank and you can put in whichever blocks you want. So we're going to do that so that you can see what I mean now by block. So we have two sections. We have this hero section and we have our custom section. So if we go back, you'll see hero and you'll see custom. So we can go into each one of those to edit, or we can just click onto the page, which will take us into that section to edit. Now, where it gets a little bit confusing and where you can change things in the wrong place is if you click on the image, um, sorry, the text or the image, it's gonna take you into the settings. And sometimes you don't notice that it's brought you into the settings because when you're doing the section settings, it looks almost the same. So, um, so that's how you can get stuck when you're clicking. Even though I do love how Kajabi lets you, you know, see exactly where you want to edit by putting these little blue bars um, around. And if you want to go into the section, you'll notice that um, the blue lines aren't around the individual elements in the section, they're around the whole section. So when you click on it, it's taking you into the section. But within the section, you can add blocks. So when you add a section, it can have multiple blocks in it. Um, but a block is only one element and you kind of build them together to make the section that you want. So you can go in and add, for example, um, accordion blocks. And when you add a block in, it's not going to preview. It's just going to bring it up. So if you wanted to add an FAQ section, we might add like, um, say, three of these accordion blocks. We'll add one more. But then we might also want to add some text as well for a heading at the top. Um, so we can go and add a text block. And we can then move that up. So you can move things around within the section. Um, and you can also change the settings within the section. So, you know, a one way to tell whether you are, um, you know, in a section or a block, if you have missed this very, very helpful instruction here, um, when you are in a section, you will not see either the number of columns or an area to change the actual content. When you are inside a block, the first thing you're going to see is the width, which is how wide this goes across the page. So if we wanted this to be a full width and take up the entire 12 columns, we can change it here. So um, so just scrolling right up to the top and being like, okay, do I have this, you know, width area? If you do, you will be in a block. If you do not have that and you see blocks in here, you'll know you're in a section. So the hierarchy is the page the section, and then the blocks. So the blocks live in the section and the sections make up the page. So within each of these sections and blocks, you can make changes to all of the things within there. Some things are um, individual to the sections and some things are individual to the block. But things like the background. So, um, so the background for the section, you'll be able to add a video and media into the background. And you can do things like change the color of the background if you want to. Um, then within the actual block, you could also change things in the background, but you don't have as many options of exactly what you can change. So you can change the background as we've got here, but you can also do things like, um, like add a border um, around. You can um, choose whether that's rounded corners or, or not. And there's different elements and aspects that you can change within different blocks. So each of the different blocks will have their own independent settings. 
Um, but also each section and block will have a desktop layout option and they will have a mobile layout option. So this is where you can play around with spacing and things to get that how you want. Um, you can use outside spacing to space between the two sections and inside spacing is going to bring things in from the edges. So if you create a block and you're like, well, why is everything so close to the edge? You can use the inside spacing to give it a bit more breathing room. So if you are ever stuck and you are trying to change things and you're like, why won't it change? I thought I had changed that. Or you've changed like um, the padding, which is, you know, in between. So sections by default, we come in here. Um, it's going to by default um, add 100 padding top and bottom and 40 left and right. So if you're like, oh, there's so much space. I don't know why there's so much space. You can come in and change that. But sometimes you might change it accidentally. Um, you might not realize that you're changing the spacing on the block, not in the section. So if you are ever unsure, um, you know, the easiest way when you get to the actual setting, so as well as looking up here to see if you've got columns, you'll see this one says block settings. But when you go into the section, it says section settings. And I kind of kicked myself that I missed that for such a long time. So hopefully this will avoid you having the frustration and give you ideas of if things aren't lining up and are not uh, displaying just how you want, that perhaps it is that you are playing around in the wrong part of the settings because it is so easy to do. Now, look out very soon for a very cool uh, graphic slash page that I'm making where I show you different ways and different settings that you can use to display your content differently. And it'll come with a swanky template. So that is going to be out in the next week or so. So from the Unicorn Advisory, signing out. If you would like to get these quick tips in your inbox every single weekday, don't forget to go to theunicornadvisory.com slash quick tips. See you next time.